Now let's discuss the components of SD WAN. Fine. So first component of SD WAN is guys V manage. Fine. What is the purpose of V manage? Cisco V manage is responsible for management plane of the fabric. What do you mean by management plane? Okay, let's talk about traditional networks. How you manage your devices through console? That is not a great idea, but option is there. Right? Through SSH or through Telnet and via CLI. Right? This is how we are managing traditional networks. But we manage is going to manage all the devices in the network. All other devices, they will be managed by VMAN, right? Now, when I when I'm saying management, what includes management? First thing is, guys, administration. Second thing is configuration. Third thing is monitoring. So all these three things are taken care by we manage. Any problem in understanding this? Right? Administration, configuration and monitoring. All these things are taken care by we manage. Administration of devices, configuration of devices, monitoring of devices. Right? After that, you can compare it with Cisco Prime also. You can compare it with Palo Alto Panorama also. You can compare it with Checkpoint Management Center also. Cisco FMC also, right? But you will get a lot more features that you have not seen there, right? When I'm saying you are managing a device through vManage, there is no need to individually log in into that device. Never there is a need, right? Okay, let's come on the next point. Where we will host it? Okay, guys, is the question clear when I'm saying where we will host it? So we can have both options. My V manage is going to be a virtual device that can be hosted on any public or private cloud, right? You can also host it on-prem on Cisco UCS, UCS M series 220 or 240 series, right? Cisco is not CUS, Cisco UCS, sorry. <laughs> So uh, you can host them on C series also, right? So that is not a discussion we are going into, right? So you see a C series or M series servers, right? Now let's talk where the word is hosting them, right? So words are word means the organizations are hosting them on a private cloud like Amazon, right? So no, I have not seen any organization which is hosting this device on on-prem apart from organization that is Delhi based and uh, they are into these government agencies that is some sort of private network they want to build right? that's why they are keeping it personal fine so this is the purpose of vManage right so we will keep vManage always in cloud so build build a thought like this that vManage will always a part of cloud this is vManage Right. Next device. Next device is V bond. Fine. So V bond is responsible for orchestration play. Orchestration is nothing but automation. Fine. What is the use of V bond? V bond is used to onboard the new devices on board the new devices on the fabric 
and will authenticate them. Right? Okay. You can understand we bond as a security guard. Right? Who will allow you to become part of the fabric? Who will authenticate you after validating your certificate? Right? So, how you can understand we bond now? No need to understand. Just remember it like this that we bond is the authentication hub of the fabric. This is we bond. This is we manage. This is we bond. We bond is taking care of what? Orchestration plane. It is responsible for all the authentication that is going to happen inside the fabric. We manage is responsible for managing all the devices, administration, configuration, monitoring. Right? This is your V man. Right? Now, third type of device is V Smart. As the name says, guys, name, what the name is saying? V Smart. It means this device is really smart. This device, V Smart, is taking care of control plane. Right? V Smart help. When routers to build overlay tunnels with each other, fine, by exchanging the routing information. So, what is what is the use of vSmart? vSmart is helping WAN routers to build which tunnels? Overlay tunnels. Guys, again a new term, new term maybe for some of you. Right, so don't get confused here. Just remember it. It is going to build some overlay tunnel by exchanging the routing information. I try to make you understand here that this guy is going to give its route to vSmart. vSmart is going to give it to R2. R2 is going to give its route to vSmart. vSmart is give it to R1. Now, once they have the routes, they will be building secure tunnels with each other for the purpose of communication. These tunnels are called overlay tunnels, right? Why, why they are called overlay? Because physically, if you think, just think of them, how they are physically connected. So this is site one, this is site two. This device is connected to its service provider. So this is the physical network, right? This is how they are connected. But after they get the routing information from vSmart, they are going to build a tunnel with each other. A overlay tunnel, right? A overlay tunnel. A tunnel over their physical network. That's why we are calling it overlay. But in future, I will be explaining you what is underlay and what is overlay again. So the purpose of vSmart is to take care of all the control plane traffic. So vSmart is actually helping all the WAN routers to build the overlay tunnels with each, each other by exchanging the routing information. 